Alright, I just had my breakfast and now I'm making some green juice. Then we're gonna periscope for a little bit. And then we're gonna go over to our friend Maria's house for like a after Christmas vegan meal celebration thing. Today I have something kind of special. I was going through my videos and photos on my computer because I got an external hard drive so I was transfer backing up everything on that and I found this video of me from last July when I was at my heaviest weight ever and the sound is really messed up on it but I was watching it and I was just so shocked how I looked back then because I mean like you can take pictures and you can you know do all that kind of stuff but like a video of you talking when you're like at your highest weight is just I'm just still shocked like I honestly cannot even believe that I looked like that and that I weighed that much and I think like somewhere in my head I had this different idea of myself like this different vision of myself <sighs> And I really didn't think that I looked like that. But I just want to talk about like how long it takes to lose weight because I mean that was a year and a half ago and now I'm 55 pounds lighter. But I mean it took me a long time to get to where I am now. And I think not focusing on weight loss is the biggest thing that helped me. Just focusing on eating as healthy as I can and you know trying different things and trying to see what works for me the best and just focusing on my health like the biggest thing for me was getting off alcohol and cigarettes and Adderall and starting to eat enough food and eating vegan high carb low fat and that was like the biggest thing that changed kind of everything for me was just being consistent with something because my whole life like I always tried to quit drinking and tried to quit smoking and tried to go on all these diets and starve myself and do all this stuff and like I was never consistent with anything I would quit drinking for like a week and I go back to it I quit smoking for like a week I go back to it I go on a stupid diet for X amount of days lose 10 pounds get back on it gain 20 pounds like it was just this vicious vicious cycle and I think you just have to find what works for you stick with it and just be patient like so many people want to know like how long is this going to take me and like am i doing this right and it's like eating high carb low fat like you can't really screw it up you really can't another thing that i wanted to say is that you might not want to like take before videos or before pictures because you like hate the way that you look and you can't imagine like showing people and stuff but it's the best way to track your weight loss like i could say that i lost you know 55 pounds but even now it's like maybe I see all these flaws in myself now when I look in the mirror or something like that it's like looking back at a video like that really makes you realize how far that you've come and I mean there's no better way to keep yourself motivated than to look at progress pictures before pictures before video especially if you have a YouTube or something like that like you have to just suck it up and take some before photos take your weight take your measurements take a video just so that you can see how far you've come when you feel down and when you feel like it's not working because even if you don't lose like weight I know a lot of people have taken before photos like in our group and they're like the scale doesn't say anything different but they look so different because their body is shedding fat it's building muscle they're you know carved up they have glycogen in their muscles they're they look way more vibrant like everything is just looking so much better they feel better and it's just a really good way to track your progress so definitely recommend taking as many before photos and videos as you can and it's just gonna help you and it's gonna help so many other people find this lifestyle and go high carb vegan because we want everybody to go high carb vegan this is the goal if everybody was high carb vegan it would be just freaking awesome all right so in case you guys didn't get the gist of how i cooked the one pot pasta last time i'll run you through it really quickly again because i know it's kind of like all over the place whatever so basically in the pot here i have one red pepper that's chopped 
half of an onion that's chopped and three whoa, three to four cloves of garlic and you just like let that saute for a little bit creeper <laughs> oh my god get out of here i'm gonna chop up some tomatoes because once this is done i'm gonna throw in the tomatoes i just use whatever amount i want like i think last time i used three large tomatoes and then a bunch of these small ones so i'm gonna chop a bunch of these up i'm gonna use half of this can of tomato paste you just throw this in there as well and then you throw in a whole thing of whatever kind of um egg free pasta that you want add in all these spices here so i have a little bit of cayenne pepper oregano basil parsley rosemary I just put whatever in there with a little bit of salt. And then you let that cook for eight minutes with the lid closed. And once it is done, it is like the perfect pasta. And then you could top it with fresh chopped basil or red pepper or extra chopped tomatoes or whatever you want. some lentils on this one I'm really really hungry all right so we're going to our friend Maria's house and I don't know if there's gonna be like oil free food for us there to eat I hope so because I'm just I'm starving today I've already eaten like 2,000 calories um, but we're bringing some dried figs with us and some La Croix, <laughs> La Croix. and it's about 11 miles round trip so it'll be a nice bike ride today it's not as cold as yesterday so thankful for that got the little boys tucked in see you guys soon <laughs> What's in that? Basil, cilantro, mint, a little cabbage, and um, some brags, and a little rice wine vinegar. And like, that looks really good. I've never thought of trying to make something like that. One drop of sesame oil. But just for the smell. Oh, yeah. Just one drop. Oh, and you got rice? Oh, yeah. That turned out good for once in my life. Oh, and yeah, that's like the money right there. That is so good. Trader Joe's. Alright, so we're just at Maria's for a little bit. Now we're at Trader Joe's. Uh, just to grab a few items. This is a madhouse. Do you want this one to look me? Yeah. How many? Uh, just, give me, just give me one bag. Yeah, no, I don't want to do it. Where's your two? $3. Here, buddy. Now we're not going to do so they normally have organic at the It's a dollar forty now. They're not organic though. Alright. The other ones are organic? Yeah. Oh, and we made it.
stay at home. It's so cold. Uh, it's so cold. So cold. Hey, boo boo. Hi. Oh my gosh. Okay, back up, guys. Back it on up. Back it on up. So freaking cold here, you guys. It's literally like 40 degrees, and I'm in right by Mexico. That's just crazy. I was like freezing on our bike ride home. <sighs> so we didn't really eat anything at Maria's. She made us a bunch of like oil-free, fat-free mashed potatoes and kale and beans and a bunch of food. But we have to leave. We had to leave early because we have to get home before it gets dark because it sucks riding your bike in pitch black darkness. So we just stopped at Trader Joe's on the way home and got some food for dinner. <laughs> I'm just gonna eat the same thing that I had for lunch. Um, so I'll just eat more pasta. I'm still actually really full. It was funny because I was like starving earlier when I had my first bowl of pasta and then I had another bowl of pasta and then like riding the bike and going out and like doing stuff and I'm, now I'm just really full. Like, I don't even know if I'll eat anymore. But um, if I do, I'll show you guys. And I will leave my chronometer at the end of this video. Yeah, it does suck counting calories. It sucks weighing everything. But I want to show you guys like how much I'm eating and stuff and that you don't have to starve yourself to lose weight. So hopefully these videos are helpful. Thumbs up if you want me to keep doing them. But hopefully you're enjoying the videos and I'm not annoying you guys too much. So that is what I ate and what I did today. Hope you guys have a wonderful night and I will see you tomorrow.